I'm back in Chef Luigi's kitchen with Patricia and we're going to be making pinoni, which is these really large pasta tubes with guanciale, guanciale and artichokes, one of my favorite things. So first, the first thing we need to do, we have to clear the artichokes. We will the be artichokes. using the violet artichokes in this case. Yes, because these are commonly what we find, I think they're slightly smaller in South Africa, but this is what we see most of yeah. is the purple artichokes. Now this art you have to be careful for the spikes. <laughs> okay, good. So you're going to peel quite a bit. Oh my god, is all that going to get thrown out? So there we are. So we throw all that away. Okay. And you can also use the stems. Yes, they are very, you just have to take away the hard parts on the outside. And they cook at exactly the same time yeah. as the actual artichokes. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. So you just pull away, peel away the, the, the outer part and use the tender the center. The tender inside. Okay. You can see Chef Luigi's obviously got lots of practice in doing this. Right, and you're just going to chop that up into little pieces. And then, now this is the interesting part. So you don't cut away the too much of the store, okay? No. Okay. And you take out the inside, which kind of has some... A bit of... No, spines. Uh, spines and... Uh, a bit of... Like the, what would you call that? It's called beard. It's called beard. It's, it's called beard. It's called beard. It's artichoke. So it's the beard of the artichoke. Exactly. It's a bit like hair, actually. Okay. And you put this into water, water and lemon. lemon so it doesn't become black. Right. And that goes into the water with lemon juice. Yes. Exactly. Well, you said earlier we could use citric acid. Just, yeah, but you have to be careful with citric acid. Just put a little bit of time. A tiny pinch. But it's easier. Everybody has a lemon. Yes, especially us. We always keep lemon to work. Just love lemon. And dopo, una, okay, so once, una fetta di guanciale. Then we have one slice of guanciale. Guanciale is pork, pork cheek, which is uh, seasoned in spices and pepper. How, how long is it dried for? Uh, you'd say how long? 12 six, months? Six, six months? Six, 12 months, so depends. Six to 12 this one months. is about six months, young one. Wow, so that's what the guanciale looks like. We cut it into little diced uh, pieces. Yeah. Dice it and then you saute that again in extra virgin olive yeah. oil. Just so a little well, bit. Is it smoked or just dried? Uh, just dried. dried. Just dried. You don't need a lot of oil here because this is quite fat, so the, the fat of the pork will melt while you cook it. And, and what, what is the flavor of the guanciale like? Because I've never seen this before. Why don't you just taste a little bit and you. <laughs> I'm going to have another little taste. I've never had this before and I just want to get the proper taste of it. Now we put that chefs. That is fantastic. It really is. It's salty. A lot like bacon, but very different at the same time. So, the artichokes are going into the, um, into the fried One pork time. cheek. Charlie, I'm just trying to remember that. So afraid of actually pronouncing it wrong. A little bit of garlic. A little bit of garlic going in. Oh, that is fantastic. Parsley. Now we probably won't get one Charlie in South Africa, so can you use bacon? I would say yes. Yeah. You use bacon. You could use bacon. So parsley going in, and this is already it has quite a lot of even a bit of chili in it. Is it a bit of chili? Probably, yes. I would yes, say. you'll probably better on chili. Yeah, yeah, it's got a bit of chili in as well. So, there's not much spice actually going into this dish. In the meantime, could you tell me a little more about this? I've never seen this before. This pasta is called pinoni. They're very big penne. And it's a pasta that comes, this is our seasonal pasta that comes from Gagnano, which is a little town near Naples. And where they still make pasta using uh, bronze utensils. You take it out the place. Starchy. Starchy. So this is a pretty starchy pasta. 
Sì, beh, sia dalla farina che se, sia dalla trafilatura also in bronzo. The utensils they use. With the bronze utensils get it a different texture and it, they have little holes, little parts which absorb è rubido. Okay, so there's little almost the bronze utensils apparently give you little grooves or little holes for the pasta which actually absorb the sauce. Yeah. That is really so interesting. So would you say that this is how pasta was made? Oh yes. Uh, originally. Many, many years ago. Yes. That looks so amazing. Little pieces of bread. Pork with artichokes. I swear the pork cheeks look like little bits of coconut. <laughs> Okay, so now we've got the penoni that's cooked, yeah. a little bit of the water from yeah, the... To make a cream. Yeah, to make the, a bit of a cream. And you put it at like of olive oil. Yeah, a little bit of olive oil. Yes, and you're just going to saute this. That looks you see? amazing. Oh yes, I see the sauce that's already actually yes, changed in color. So it's looking a bit creamy now. You see the creamy? Yes, yes, I do. When you have that. good pasta, you must do that. Okay, so this is really good pasta yeah. and it looks fabulous. Do you use any seasonings or herbs in this? No, just garlic and pers pers parsley. Parsley. Garlic and parsley and it looks really good. I can't believe the size of these tubes. It looks amazing. And I can see the, the, the starch <laughs> mixing with the, with the liquid. Without cream, without nothing. Without butter. So if it wasn't fatty guanciale, this would be quite healthy actually. So you wouldn't need to add um, excess cream or butter into this. It would yeah. be a very healthy dish. Okay, so we're just going to plate this up. And I would just be so eager to eat this. I would probably eat it up in pan. Okay, so this is the penoni with the pork cheek and artichokes and it looks fantastic. Thank you so much for having me in your kitchen.